It's great to be here in Mesa, Arizona. My name is Jared Carter. In my junior year, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So the first thing I did was Google multiple sclerosis. If you look at me today, I mean, I'm, I'm big, I'm strong, you know, I look strong and feel strong, but my body doesn't know how to use that strength the way it used to. So what was it, like uh, three months ago, right? Uh, I was late for the train, so I started walking faster. And then I saw the train, so I started running. And after I started running, and I ended up falling on the ground. So I'm looking up and I'm just You know, watching. just yesterday I said to Matthew, we're not married yet. Yet. You're a guy. Was that a big deal? You know, I can ignore you too. Listen, you go home and get some rest, you're gonna feel better tomorrow. I gotta get going. What's up, man? You see this girl over here? The, the one in the stripes? She's a slut. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's her name? Okay, you know what? You know what, man? It's guys like you. And guys like you who walk around and they don't give two shits about what they do. Hey, hey, what? I said, hey, you know what? What, you know some sluts? No, man, I just want to talk to you. What's with the cane? Ah, it just makes me look cool. All right, excuse me. Yeah. How's Jared? Mm, he's good. I'm trying to set him up with Marissa. Why? You always have to set him up with your friends? Kinda weird. It's not weird. He needs a distraction and I'm sick of him being all sad all the time, you know? What's wrong with trying to find him a girl? Yeah, you're right. So, how many more motivational speakers do we need? Just one. This isn't the uh, dental conference, is it? Yeah. This guy wrote a book. What's the book about? No idea. But it's a big hit with middle-aged white people. Hey, do you remember my friend Marissa? We're gonna get drinks tonight. You should come. Yeah, to replace the phone, it's gonna cost like 400 fucking dollars. Now, do you have 400 fucking dollars to replace the cell phone? Because I sure as shit don't. Yeah, I've been using Mike's extra phone. It still rings when I call it. All right, I'll try calling it again, man. Thanks. All right, bye. We've lost Bob Johnson. A mountain climbing amputee. No, that's an odd. What about getting a business speaker? Would that be easier? Maybe easier doesn't always mean better. 
I think the best thing to do is try to find another motivational speaker. You should be a motivational speaker. Yeah, why is that? So I can be your agent, and we can travel to Omaha. Louisville, Mesa, Arizona, you know, all the convention hotspots. It's great to be here in Mesa. My name is Jared Carter. I have multiple sclerosis. When I was in the fifth grade, I really wanted a Huffy bike, but my parents bought me a Schwinn. It was a turning point in my life, and I knew then that you can't always get what you want. It's these little moments we remember. These little moments that make up life. So me, Marissa, and Matt are gonna get a drink later, and you are cordially invited. It's great to be here in Mesa, Arizona. My name is Jared Carter, and not too long ago, I was a football player, running back. But in my junior year, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So the first thing I did was Google multiple sclerosis. You remember me? Vaguely. And you know, it's a funny thing when you realize your life has changed, but you don't know how or to what extent. Oh man, I was completely trash Saturday night. I mean, even today, look at me today. I mean, I'm, I'm big, I'm strong. You know, I look strong and feel strong. Wait, I punched you? So I say to you today, Here's your fucking phone, man. Don't be such an asshole. So, I say to you today... Oh, whatever. Seeing forms that don't exist, hearing voices with no tongues, singing melancholy melodies, with the words yet to be sung, and every shape was shifting sideways till my balance was thrown off. Onto the tile floor I landed, but the tile felt so soft, just like the mattress on which I awoke. I exhaled in relief because my dream had momentarily suspended my belief. So in reality, I now emerge all dreary eyed to the main room of my house to find those two Jehovah's Witnesses are sleeping on my couch. 